Some streets and businesses can't be accessed in downtown Davenport after water breached the HESCO barriers. Up next, live reports from downtown Davenport and new information about how higher the Mississippi River will rise before it's all said and done. WHBF is local for you. This is Local 4 News This Morning. Good morning to you. I'm Alexandria Ikamoni. And I'm Redrick Terry. Thanks for joining us for Local 4 News this morning. Our team flood coverage continues this morning. It's after parts of downtown Davenport are underwater after a portion of those HESCO barriers breached yesterday. That's right. Dozens of people had to be rescued by boat when the waters continue to go up. We continue our team coverage this morning of the impact it's having on the city. Andrea Medina is live in downtown Davenport and Yukari Nakayama is live at Centennial Bridge. We'll go to Yukari first. Good morning, Yukari. How is the water impacting people's commute across the river? That's right, guys. I'm here on, on Gaines and 2nd on the Davenport side. If you could see right behind me where the Centennial Bridge is at, there's, you know, traffic is um, speeding up a little bit over here. Again, I want to remind viewers that um, the Centennial Bridge will be reduced to one lane as people are coming into Davenport. So that means, and also uh, the exit on 2nd and Gaines Street is closed. Um, if we can zoom in over here, you can see a little, you know, there's some water receding over here, and that's why, um, you know, we, they blocked off that exit um, and the HESCO, or not the HESCO barriers, but these uh, barricades out over here that have been put up by the Davenport um, Public Safety um, have been put up to, um, you know, stop the uh, water from coming in that's coming from the flooding um, over here on the right side of the street. Again, guys, we want to remind you that because of uh, I 80 construction and because the Arsenal Bridge is closed and because um, there are some closures on 2nd Street, um, Centennial Bridge will be more trafficked in the next coming days. For more updates, stay with us. But for now, live in Davenport, Yukari Nakayama, Local 4 News. Andrea, thank you. And then we have Andrea Mendina, who is at Parishing and Second Street. Good morning, Andrea. How are things where you are? Good morning, guys. It's still a swimming pool out here. Now the Heskel flood barrier broke at second and Pershing streets. Now we're actually around the corner up six flights at the River Center parking ramp. Now we actually are on high ground because we want to show you this view. Take a look. We want neighbors tell us the mighty Mississippi River only took seconds to fill this section of downtown Davenport, and this area hasn't changed much since yesterday afternoon. Cars can still be seen underwater. Sandbags are blocking the entrance of businesses and city trunks have closed up the affected areas so drivers don't get through. You'll notice that at this intersection at 2nd and Perry streets, the water stopped midway through. Businesses like Barrel House and Crafted Quad Cities were able to stay dry, but a building over at Exit Realty Fireside and the Bucktown Community Center weren't so lucky. All of these businesses and the ones on River Drive are closed until further notice. Now fire crews brought, were able to help some of the owners go in and out of their buildings to help sell salvage some of their items and as well as people at the Pearson Paper Company. They were able to help them get in and out as well to try to gather their essential items to take them to shelter or to take them somewhere else that they need to go. Now again, they work fast and furious to get everyone to safety. But the unsung heroes here are everyone who came out to pitch in to save these businesses. People began filling sandbags and lining them up on 2nd Street to stop the waters from rushing in. You now we just try to help businesses and restaurants and you know I definitely plan to be a part of help cleaning up when it's all done too. I think it's the way it's supposed to be you know my thought was what if this was my business or my livelihood or you know some somebody that, that I cared about and it was their stuff that was getting wrecked by this water and so I would hope that somebody would do the same for me. The Mississippi River is currently at 22.17 feet and it's currently and it's expected to crest around lunchtime. Anyone affected by the flooding is encouraged to go to shelter. There are two locations. There is one in Davenport at Lincoln Fundamental School and at Bethel Methodist, excuse me, Bethel Wesley United Methodist Church in Moline. Guys. All right, Andrea, thank you. Yeah, one of the business owners we talked with tells us the fire department did warn them about the possibility of a breach yesterday, but they didn't expect to find themselves in this kind of situation. The main response from business owners who spoke with Local 4 News is they responded to the most immediate threats. That's as simple as trying to keep what's dry, dry. They got some unexpected help along the way when people showed up that they'd never seen before to lend a hand. Owners wanted to get back to their businesses as soon as possible. 
We have a wedding on this Saturday and their rehearsal will be here Friday night as well. So we have a few days to get, hopefully the water will go down a little bit. The water was kind of leaking in just because it was raining so hard earlier, but nothing substantial. And we're joined now with our meteorologist Ash Simpson, just talking about, you know, we're hoping that we don't get any rain today because these last few days has been rough for us. Oh uh, yeah, that's the hope here today, and I think things are looking good for us as far as rainfall goes outside right now. Upper 40s on the traffic camera, traffic uh, moving along on I-74, but uh, uh, there's going to be extra traffic there as Yukari was talking about, extra congestion on Centennial. So give yourself extra time, leave a little bit earlier if you want to beat it. We do have just a lot of cloud cover, maybe a few sprinkles outside, but that's all I would expect here today. It will be mostly dry as we go through the evening. Temperatures will be back into the lower 60s. So your spot time forecast. Uh, I think we'd all use a little spot time to kind yes. of relax after these uh, stressful conditions. But uh, uh, yeah, that uh, really pretty comfortable. I think we mostly dry. Won't expect rain until late tonight for the most part. So um, especially if you're well, jacuzzi's covered. I think you're doing all right. Yeah, I was just yeah. going to say, if you got one inside, you are made in the shade. Yeah, sounds really nice. Oh, I feel like a Definitely. massage, too, I guess, just to really get the kinks out. It's been rough. <laughs> it's it been is. rough. It has been. We're going to make through, though. We will. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, thanks. And coming up, Jay gets toasty with the Steam Wheelers, what the team is promoting ahead of Saturday's game. Uh oh, that's next in sports. Look out. <laughs> not shook. Time now, 6.35. You're watching Local 4 News this morning. Steamy. WHBF is local for you with Redrick Terry, Alexandria Ikamoni, and meteorologist Ash Simpson. This is Local 4 News this morning in high definition.